How to use VLOOKUP in Excel to compare two columns? VLOOKUP is one of the most useful functions in Excel and I find that I use it very, very often, especially when comparing and consolidating data. So in this example, I have column of uh, children's names in 1990 and another of the names in 2000, the most popular names or the, what names were used in these years. Now I want to find out which names are common between both years. So to do this, I can use VLOOKUP, which will basically take each name uh, from uh, column A and try to find it in column C. And if I find it, I want that a name returned here. So uh, for VLOOKUP, for this, I will use the uh, formula wizard, select the cell, go to formulas, under lookup in reference, go to VLOOKUP. So this opens the wizard. Of course, once you get more proficient, you can type the function directly into the formula bar or the cell. But uh, in the beginning, we can use the wizard till we get used to the function. So now the lookup value, which is the value I'll be looking up, is the name. I enter that there. The array is the reference, where I want to look, which in this case is this column of uh, column C. So I can select this and go to the end of the column. Now, to go to the end of the column, depending on what laptop you're using, uh, you can use either control end or control function end to go to the end of the column, and that populates the whole range. Then I need to say which column I want to look up. Now that I'm looking up this column, I want to specify out of this, if I have multiple columns, which column I want returned. In this case, I have only one column, so I will put one here. But if I had multiple columns, say four or five, I could say, okay, look up. A look for this num uh, name in this uh, data set and return column 3. Now the range here, look up here, I will enter false because I want a perfect match. And then I say uh, OK. So now I have got an error here because this name Arika obviously is not there in the uh, 2000 uh, list. So now before copying this to other cells to the rest of the uh, column, First, I want to handle this error value. I don't want this, uh, you know, any displayed. So for that, I wrap the VLOOKUP function into another one called if error. What I'm saying is that if this function returns an error, then just leave a space, which I indicate by two uh, double quotes. And say enter. So now you can see that it's just showing a blank cell. The other critical thing that I need to do is make this into a constant while selecting F4. Otherwise, the reference, uh, because I want the reference uh, column C to be constant, uh, and I don't want that to change when I copy the formula, and press Enter. So now I can copy this down to the rest, Control C, and then just press Enter or Control V. And now I see which names are common between the two. Just to make it a little easier for me to analyze, I will go select common names, go to data, and say filter. And now from this drop down. I want to remove blanks because that obviously are the ones that have not been matched and I can see this. So now when I look at column B, I can see all the names that are common between the two years. So a word of caution when using uh, VLOOKUP is that the reference table, that is the column or the table or the data set that I'm looking up, has to be sorted in ascending order. And, uh, and uh, secondly, it has to be the leftmost column of the range that I'm selecting. In this example, I had only one column, so it didn't matter. But if I have a large data set, it has to be the leftmost because Excel will look at the first column for comparison. And the other thing is that it is better that the column you're looking up has unique values because if any of those values are repeated, then your VLOOKUP could return a less than desired result or a slightly more different result and not the one you're looking for. So this is how to use VLOOKUP to compare columns. Please read the appended article for more information.